Hi, this is Sahana. In this Entity Framework core series, today we are going to discuss DBSet. If you remember, in our last session, we have created this AppDB context class and we have added two properties of type DBSet. If you ask me what is DBSet, then the definition would be a DBSet is a class that represents an entity set in a database. DBSet is typically defined as a property on DB context class. If you notice here, it's a generic class. So we are specifying type here. In this case, we have specified employee and in second case, we have specified manager. In our application, DB context class has two properties of type DBSet. So when we create database, then database will have table for employee and another table for manager. Employee table will have four columns for employee ID, first name, last name and salary and manager table will have three columns, manager ID, first name and last name. Very important thing is DBSet allows you to perform various database operations like querying, inserting, updating, deleting entities and so on. I'll quickly show you the members. Right click, go to definition. You can find that this class has so many different methods like we have find async overloads of async then add method we use this method to add new record database then we have save changes method which is one of the important methods we have remove method and we have so many different methods you will understand them in detail when we actually use them while executing different operations against database. Don't worry for now. One more important thing is whatever the link you query we write against dbset will be translated into query against database. In this code sample, you can see how we can call these add, remove and update methods to manipulate data. In upcoming sessions, we are going to manipulate data and we are going to use these methods. Then you will understand them better. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.